are at the beginning stages of our surrogacy process. So we're learning a lot of the terms right now. So it's called a journey. Oh, sorry, a journey. Or a journey. We're at the beginning <laughs> of our journey. Just so you know, too, we're on vacation right now. And so there's at Walt Disney World things behind us. We're at Walt Disney World, so that's why you see Sebastian and Flounder. And basically, we just want to have a baby so we can take him or to, her Disney to Disney World. We're actually babysitting right now. Yeah, we're babysitting. That's why we're being quiet. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> We have been married for seven years, together for 11 years. I'm uh, an actor, singer, been in New York City for 20 years, multiple Broadway shows. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I moved to New York City when I was in seventh grade, and I became a professional ballet dancer and danced with New York City Ballet. And I've done some other dancing and acting things and still continue to do that. I have a brother who is autistic on the spectrum. It's a genetic thing that's been passed down through, you know, because it's, it's shown up in other people in my family. And knowing how difficult that was to grow up with a special needs brother, I was like, I, I just, I want to reduce the risk of that happening as much as we can. And I know with biological surrogacy, you can reduce the risk. You can't eliminate it, but you can reduce it. Another reason why we decided to go this route is um, because my family, my dad's an only child. My brother, my brother and I, where there's just two of us and he and his wife are not gonna have any babies. <laughs> and so I kind of felt like if I could do something about it, that I would. We went to the Gay and Lesbian Center. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did these like monthly informational things for, for gay parents. And just very general, like all the information about either adopting or the surrogacy route. I have three brothers. There's the autistic one who's the oldest and then two brothers, each married multiple times, each with their own children. You know, my coming out story, I guess, is that, you know, it was not easy. I grew up in Southeast Texas and it's taken a lot of time for my family to grow to accept me, but they have, for most of my adult life, been very open and very accepting. But what I realized what's different with the baby thing is I don't think they realize how difficult it is for two men to have a baby. <laughs> like, it makes sense to me, but for them, because they can just get pregnant, they don't think about it. Yeah. Um, and so when we- I mean, we keep trying. But also, I think a lot of people have an idea of what our lifestyle is as Broadway performers, and they think it's something that is so vastly different from what other people do, and it's it's not. It's just not steady, right? right? We found out through another couple that they went through an organization called Men Having Babies. So yeah. we applied, and we qualified for stage one. Mm -hmm. So stage one is basically their basic, like it's like the minimal amount of what you can get, which is discounts on services. We actually kind of went, oh, this might actually be an option. We might be able to do this. Like for us to afford this, because when we found out how much it could cost, we were like, "Oh my god!" I mean, and it's like we don't have that kind of money. And I went to a, I went to an event, a men having babies event, which Stephen couldn't go to because um, it work. And I remember I kind of felt it was like on the Upper West Side in Manhattan, and all the people there like were like, at least from my eyes, and maybe just because I'm comparing <laughs> myself, were like bankers and lawyers, and the way they were having these conversations, they were like. You know, we live on the Upper West Side and we have our, we gave up our share on Fire Island so that we can have a baby. And I'm like, that is not my life. I don't know how we're gonna be able to do this. Um, but we are gonna figure it out. We're just gonna take it one step at a time. I, I, like I said, I went to that Men Having Babies event and I met with a doctor in Connecticut at um, RMA Connecticut. Yes. Dr. Liam Dearest. He's without Steven again. I was working. I'm trying to get the money <laughs> to get this going. Steven, and just so you know, was doing Hello Dolly on Broadway at the time. Right. With Bette Midler. You may have heard of her. I go to the meeting, just he, he and I, and I just felt really like I was in good hands. He explained so much to me that I just didn't understand. I knew Zilt. He was like, we can do this in stages, and the first thing we can do is we can, he kind of explained it to me, is to start your journey, you come here, you do a whole day of blood work, you do all these things, you know, we'll freeze the sperm, then you can find, you know, we'll get through that first, and then we'll get through the eggs, and then we'll, the egg yeah. right, then we'll make the embryos. He kind of said, you can do it in these stages. So it's so, not all at once. Right. We were asked by Gays With Kids if we would document our journey 
as we go. So this is the first video for us to do that. We're hoping you guys will be joining us as we go on our journey and to having baby. And right now, we're gonna use a credit card. Going for it. We have jobs coming up that, um, that will allow us to do better planning and budgeting for the next steps. Yeah, and pay off the credit card. And pay off the credit card. It's something that I feel, feel like I wanna get this going because I just turned 39 last week. I don't want to be we're retirement already, age yeah. when my high school kid, when, you know, when my kid graduates high school. So we're going to be in Charleston, South Carolina for the next year. To see if that's some place we'd like to could settle down. I mean, I'm like, nervous about being a gay parent anywhere, to be honest with you. I think that that's like inherently being gay. Like we've, at least I've grown up always feeling like a little nervous to be around new settings or new situations in general. But you know what I'm excited about? Like what I love about being with kids is imagination. I love playing with their imaginations. I love, like I'm super excited about Easter and Christmas. I'm excited for our nephew Luke to have a cousin. I'm just excited to yeah. extend our family and extend, ex extend what we have and pass it down in every way that we can. And I think that being on this journey allows us to do that in such a great way. Totally.